back what happened. Oh, careful. Here, come on. You don't remember? Remember? What do you mean, remember? We were on set and then... It's okay, keep going. We were doing that live show competition. Who won that? Uh, th that's not important right now. What happened next? Okay. And I was acting with Nick and then... Wait. Did Nick bite me? Yes. What the heck? Does he have rabies? I would expect that from Wiley, but Nick? Charlie, you were dead for three days. That's ridiculous. No, it's true. No breathing, no pulse. And you were kind of starting to smell a little, but they said it was some kind of hibernation period. Well, obviously I'm not dead right now, so what, are you saying I just came back to life? Daisy? No. Not life. Exactly. No, 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 no. Charlie, Nick bit you. So now, you're a vampire. Oh, God damn. Can we start already? It's been like half an hour. Not yet. Just wait. <laughs> Woo! Hey you guys, hey, hey, <clears throat> hey, hey. You guys ever party with Burt Reynolds? No! No you have. But I have. Look, he forgot my name like <laughs> six times, but I don't care. I never forgot it myself. Rich, so happy you're here. Take a seat. Yeah, I will. Oh, don't be like that, Jerry. It's terrible. Are you still sore about that? Don't be so hard on yourself, man. These are not as bad as me. So-called savior of humanity can't save everyone, I guess. Well, well now that we're all here, um, I would just like to say a huge congratulations to Down to Film for winning the live show competition by a landslide. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. After that disaster, everyone wanted to know what would happen next. UT Twitter sphere went crazy. Did you see what Ryan Chang tweeted? Hilarious. I didn't actually. I didn't have internet where I was. I've got to say, Rich, I had my doubts about Down to Film, but you've proven me wrong. You've become the hottest produce, I mean, show here at TSTV. Oh, we deserve, I totally deserve this. It's a shame those two freshmen left. What were their names again? Daisy and Charlie. Oh, that's right. Whatever happened? <laughs> <laughs> there were creative differences. They're lost. That Daisy girl could really act, though. Her tears look so real. I, I, um, I have to go. I have a meeting with 
people. Not these people, other people. Uh, okay, sure, just keep cranking out those hits for me. <laughs> yeah. See you later. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, we're finished. Our cover is blown. They're gonna come here. They're gonna find us. They're gonna dissect us. They're gonna probe us. Surely if they were going to come for us, they would have done so already. Do you not think so, Wiley? Huh? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. And Rich isn't gonna be any help because he's he's off. He's cracked under the pressure and is doing body shots off of Ben Franklin's tits or whatever. You guys, we might have to make a run for it. They're gonna storm the station. Wiley, if Lola dies in battle, I give you permission to eat her carcass and regain your super strength. Oh, my species is very poisonous. And I've sworn off live game for a little bit anyway. Rich, you have returned. Well, look who it is. Hi guys. Don't you hi guys us. Where have you been? Me? Oh, I was doing time travel stuff. Why does it smell like lighter fluid in here? I knew it! You have been partying! Our cover is blown and you are off getting lit sometime. Like, Molly, again, our cover isn't blown. The thing was all special effects. What we need to do right now we? is- We? Let me stop you right there. There is no we. There is you and there is us. And we can handle these humans by ourselves. Right, guys? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Rich, I guess. Again, we don't have to deal with anyone. They think it was all a big PR stunt. Likely story. I actually find that to be a very likely story. Lola, powerful women need to support each other, and you are not supporting me right now. I am not technically a woman. The workalux treat gender as a spectrum far beyond your human comprehension. Get lost, Rich. We can deal with this by ourselves. Go get high with Alexander Graham Bell or something. All right, I guess I'll see you guys around. Molly, I do not think you should be so hard on Rich. He is still our friend. He's a human. Oh dear. So, seen any uh, good movies recently? I don't have time. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. So, what exactly are we waiting for again? The director to call us with our brief. <laughs> the director of the bureau? <laughs> oh, buddy, you are new to field work, huh? Not trying to offend. I just heard a little bit of water, water cooler talk. Uh, weren't you an accountant? Meta being information archivist, thank you. Right, an office job. <laughs> well, take it from me. Field agents don't usually get to talk to the big boss. Uh, look, you're a transfer here to the bureau. You know how things work here. The director likes to get involved. Oh, come on. At the very least, it's going to be a pre-recorded message or something. Yes, director. Agent Y and Agent Z, you've arrived at the William Randolph Hearst building, the last known location of object of interest, number 045. See what I told you? Pre-recorded message. Hey, how's about you tell us something we don't already know? I'm sorry, Z. Am I boring you? Oh, uh, no, Director. You see, I, uh, uh excuse my partner, sir. They're, they're, uh, new. It's all right, why? We'll just treat this as a teachable moment. Never test me, Agent Z. Not unless you want to be shipped off to Canada, like your fellow agents X and N. I, uh, yes, Director. Won't happen again. No, it won't. Now back to the brief. You have two objectives. First, to locate and secure object of interest number 045, codename Phantom Phone. Your secondary objective is to infiltrate the TSTV show known as Down to Film and investigate its crew. Uh, Director, if I, if I may ask, why are we investigating an amateur TV show? Our web crawlers flagged a live stream on TSTV's website. It showed the object of interest as well as the crew down to film morphing into meta-beings. You were going to confirm whether this is something worth our attention. And if it turns out that they are meta-beings? Then, you neutralize them, and bring them and the object of interest back to HQ for... experimentation. 
In your kit, you will find tranquilizer darts and a vacuum cleaner for the ghost, among other items. Wait, a vacuum cleaner? Yes. To retrieve the ghost and relocate it to HQ. Is it like a super science-y vacuum? No. A normal vacuum. What, you gonna turn it on and suck, <laughs> suck them in? That seems kind of... Stop the freak in a vacuum bag or I stuff you in several. Yes, sir. Good. You've already received the dossier. And there you will find instructions on how to determine the student's true identities. Do not fail me. Wow. Well, that was intense. Man, it's like working retail all over again. Ow! Hey! What the hell was that, see? Never speak to the director that way. You have no idea what they're capable of. Oh, come on. Getting sent to Canada doesn't sound that bad. They got free health care, and it's kind of nice up there this time of year. Wait. Getting shipped to Canada isn't like a euphemism or something, is it? It's like getting put out to pasture, or like, hey, hey, wait! So, why can I call Lola? Ah. Uh, um. What's wrong with our food? It's all gone bad. Charlie, you're a vampire now. You can't eat normal food. Besides, Cheez-Its don't go bad. Cheez-Its totally go bad. One time I bit into one and... Wait, you're not answering the question. Why can't I call Lola? After the live show competition, things got... complicated. Anyways, so I've been doing some research on vampires, um, and it's a little confusing, but one thing most sources seem to agree on is that vampires are at their hungriest when they're first turned. Daisy, you're dodging the question. I just don't think we should talk to the crew right now, okay? Why not? Because I might have, you know... You what? Because I told them that we quit, okay? What? Why would you do that? Because I don't, I don't... After Nick bit you, I don't want you, I don't want us around them anymore, okay? I just... I'm gonna go take a walk. I need to think some things through. Um, you, you can't do that. Uh, the blogs say you can't go into direct sunlight. Oh yeah? Or what? What will happen? Um... Either nothing, or you'll get, like, really tan. I'll take that chance. I burn easily, you know this. I'm gonna go take a shower to wash the smell off. You only smell like that because you've been dead for three days. No, 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 no listening. <sighs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Wiley, what has happened to Nikolai? Oh, uh, I don't really know. After what happened, he locked himself in the apartment, and I haven't been able to reach him since. But do you not live with him? Yeah, well, I, I kind of locked my keys in there. Oh, that is most unfortunate. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm not going to lug a whole vacuum cleaner up the stairs. Uh, what's up, my fellow students? We were just in the quad, tossing some ultimate. Uh, what my friend here is trying to say is that we heard about your show and we want to join. Who sent you? Absolutely no one. Uh, we just heard about your show and we thought it was extremely Fortnite and then I just had to, uh, uh, we're students here at this school, and we want to learn film, and we heard this is the best show at the station, so... Mm. Uh, anyways, how about letting us in this, uh, totally rad 
TV show. Are you trying to shorten TV? Stop trying so hard, it sounds weird. What are your names? Uh, my name is Zeke, and this is Y. It's Zeke and Wyatt. Those are our names. Yep. Okay. Um, give us just a moment. Hey, Boyd, can I get, uh, three chairs and some mints? Mint? No. No, thank you. All right, then. Lola, Wiley, in times of war, there come moments when sacrifices must be made. Molly, I'm not eating Lola. What? Why would you? No, not that. I'm talking about the humans. I think we should let them join the show. Wait, but isn't that the opposite of what you said before? Yes, which is why it will throw everyone else off our scent. Molly, I do not like the flavor of brainwaves you are currently emitting. Is this what humans refer to as bad vibes? I should hope not. I mean, I just think that these are two uncompromised humans, so if we befriend them and get them to join the show, then we throw everyone else off our scent. But what if these humans are compromised? Then we will be keeping our friends close and our enemies closer. But, but Rich is our friend, and you made him Rich leave. is not our friend. He never was. Molly, perhaps you were accepting these humans onto our show, despite Rich. No one. Uh, you guys aren't even... Meeting adjourned. Great, you're in. You didn't need that moment? Oh, moment taken. Yeah, okay, so let's head to the studio. Uh, yeah. It's this way. Hey. Hey. Took you a while. Yeah, sorry. There weren't any cell phone towers when I was. Wanna come in? Yeah. So, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, hopping around from place to place, time to time. I accidentally built Stonehenge. How can you accidentally? Yeah, you know, druids and uppers are a nasty combination. Uh, if that rage were on any longer, Stonehenge would have been a lot more phallic. What's phallic? So, do you still have the phantom phone? You can't have it. I wasn't going to ask for it. Okay. Good. Daisy, why did you call me? Look, I need help convincing Charlie that she's a vampire. And I don't really know how to take care of her. Every website says something different. I don't think I'm the best person to talk about that. You know, you should really call Nick. I'm not letting him anywhere near her. I'm sorry, Daisy. We all are. Okay. They miss you, you know. You know, if you just came back- Stop it, okay? It's, it's not going to work. Just... Look, I called you because you're the only one of them I still kind of trust. Just help me with Charlie. At least until she's stable. It's the least you could do. Okay. Uh... I'll try what I can. Okay. Good.
this is it, the studio, where we make down to film the human show. Now it's time for us to shoot an episode for humans with our new human friends who are human just like the rest of us. Am I right, humans? Yes, we are humans. Great, now let's shoot this episode. Well, they don't seem particularly monstrous. I know. Meta beings are insidious creatures, Z. They've had millennia to develop methods of blending in with their prey. Ugh. Well, that's great. According to the dossier, the Bureau thinks the blonde one may be a ghost. And what about the others? Well, the one in the flannel seems to be a lycanthrope, and the spunky one is a Wargalux. What's a Wargalux? Is that the Japanese snake one? Wargalux is an alien, Z. Keep up. Could have said alien. They're not that make me feel bad. <laughs> Wait, aren't there supposed to be others? Hmm, you're right. There's no sign of the vampire, the bite victim, or the other two. What are the other two? Are they just, like, normal? I guess it's up to us to find out. Hmm. Oh! Hey, Rich. Hey, Cha! Oh my god, what is that smell? Charlie, I thought you said you were going to take a shower. Well, I tried. There's something wrong with the water. It, it was scalding hot and, and I couldn't bear to stand in it. Can't cross running water. That's another vampire trait. Oh my god, can we just stop with this vampire bit already? I will admit, perhaps I don't know as much about Nick's condition as I should. Yeah, and the internet hasn't been much help. There's more types of vampires than there are Pokemon. Yeah. I think we should try and figure out what type of vampire she is through process of elimination. Oh, I absolutely hate where this is going. Uh, what do you expect me to do? Are you feeling any kind of like urge or? Other than the urge to punch you in the face? Obsessive counting isn't it, then. Next test. Now look in this. Oh, haha, ha, you got me a trick mirror. <laughs> Hilarious. It's real. That's mine. Sure, a trick mirror from Mr. Tricker. Rich, why do you even have that? I need something to do my eyeliner in. I can't think of anything else. Silver? Nothing? I don't have any silver though. Silverware! Ow! God! I cut myself! God. Oof! Charlie, can you get me a band aid? Uh, Daisy, can you come back in here? <gasps> Charlie! Your teeth! I've always been like this. Uh, hey, do you guys smell something? Something smells really good. Daisy, I think Charlie needs some blood. Run to the butchers and I'll handle things here. Where the heck am I going to find a butcher? Google Maps, Daisy! Okay. Go. Gee, Mitch, I'm so glad we're friends. You know, I wasn't sure about you at first, but now, in this barren wilderness, I've grown to trust you. Well, Jolly, it turns out you're actually an idiot because I'm the absolute worst. Bazinga. Cut! Molly, can we talk about the script? Is it the catchphrase? I read online that catchphrases make for great comedy. This is not exactly what I was referring to. Well, what then? Does it not seem a bit personal? All writing is personal, Lola. Did the internets teach you this as well? Will you stop that? It's been days. He's not going to call you back, Wiley. Y yes, he will. He, he just needs some time. I don't understand. Nick left you. He locked you out of your own apartment. Why aren't you mad at him? Because I know what he's going through. And also, there's plenty of nap spots on campus if you know where to look. That's ridiculous. I'm taking five. So, uh, what's our game plan here? 
I say we test the work looks first. Okay. How are we going to do that? Well, according to the brief, work are magnetic. So, I'll distract it. You sneak up, put this on its back, see if it sticks. Wait, why me? Why not you? <laughs> what if it turns around and eats me? Then you'll have died protecting the American people from threats beyond their comprehension. Oof, the recruitment brochure made that sound so much more glamorous. Uh, excuse me, friend. I just wanted to ask how your spleen was doing. My, my spleen? Um, oh yes, I just brushed it this morning. Hygiene is important. Yes, it, it is. Oh, Zeke, did you need something as well? Oh, I, uh, I just feel like we haven't been really pulling our weight around here. Oh no, do not worry. You've been most helpful today. Oh, really? Thank yeah. you. But if you'd like something else to do, we could use someone on sound. The equipment's over there. We'll get on, right on that. Good job, Z. Building trust and favors. <laughs> right? And she didn't even eat me. It, Z. Oh, right. Sorry. It. Ugh! What? That smells rancid. Where'd you get that from? Just garlic. I mean, I had it so you don't bite me. Like, who would want to bite you, creep? because with heightened emotion, it gets a little weird. So we don't want a repeat of the live show incident. Wait, live show? Do you mean when I dialed 911? That's, that's what made the cryptids. Just call Nick. Wait, where are you even going? To try and sort things out with my friends. I hope you can do the same with yours. Wow, Mitch, you abandoned your crew when we needed you the most? That's right, Jolly. I am all of the reasons why people suck, and you were a fool to ever trust me. Wow, I should have never became your friend. Cut! Molly, are you okay? Do you wish to discuss this with me? Lunch break, everyone.
Okay, so we're pretty sure that one is the Wurgalux. Uh, so who do we test next? The Lycanthrope. Okay. Hey, what's that? Powderized silver. Uh, we slip a little bit of this into its food. Just a little, not enough to kill it. But if it has a regurgitative reaction, we know it's a Lycanthrope. Gross. So, how do we play this? You distract it, I'll take care of the rest. This is Nick. Don't leave a message. Hey, Nick. It's, um, it's Wiley. I I'm just calling to let you know how set's going so far. Uh, we've got two new members. Which is fun. They're human. Molly said we needed to hire them for some reason. Anyway, you'd, you'd really like them, I bet. And, I mean, there's no way that what happened with, um, the other two would happen again. I, I mean, these things happen, you know? Um, I know your voicemail is probably almost full by now, and I know you, uh, don't know how to clear it, so just, um, Give me a call back, okay? Okay. Who are you calling? Huh? Uh, what my colleague meant to say was, uh, what's got you so down? Oh, uh, well, it's nothing. It's just mm. my friend, he's not doing great right now. Oh, no. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, well, um, mm. my friend, he needs this, um, special juice. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and a few days ago, mm. he didn't have his special juice. And he kind of ended up doing something really bad. Really? Yeah, and he couldn't help it. You know, he's still taking it really hard. Well, that's... A and uh... now it's even worse because I got him his special juice, but he isn't drinking it. Y you know, and I know mm -hmm. he thinks he needs to punish himself for what he did, but I can't stand to see him like this. He's my best friend. I just want him to be okay. I... wow. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I kind of started rambling there. Oh, uh, maybe eating something will make you feel better. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that usually works. You okay? Um, yeah, I just, I, I just go up. Definitely a lycanthrope. Yeah, but, I mean, he seemed nice. Like, like, really nice. It's not a he, it's an it. He's a meta being, Z. We have a job to do. Ah, there you are. I could not find you anywhere. I'm sorry, I was voiding. You seem calmer. Are you ready to discuss what isn't bothering you? Yes, I think I have it all figured out. Molly, I know you are upset about Rich. Rich isn't worth getting upset over. I just, I really thought he was different from the rest of them. I see. How did you come to this conclusion? Well, when I first died, I kept trying to socialize for a while. You know, I was thinking maybe being dead would add some sort of grand context to things and people would suddenly be tolerable. I take it they were not. No, they weren't. And so, after a while, I stopped manifesting entirely and I would just pop out of my void sometimes to scare some random freshmen in SRD. They deserved it, I thought. And then you met Rich. And then I met Rich. And I thought, this is good. Things are different now. And then you all came along, and I finally thought that I had found my people. And and things, things were so good. But then he abandoned us. He is just struggling to deal with what happened with Daisy and Charlie. We all are. I'm not. I didn't even like them that much. Molly, I have been inside your boy. I have seen the bracelets of camaraderie you were crafting. You've... you've seen it? Here, I have one for you. But not for Rich. He doesn't deserve one. You don't have to forgive him, Molly. But 
you can try to understand him. All right, then I'm a void real quick. Take your time. Thank you. Okay, Daisy. You can do this. Just, just talk to her. It'll be okay. It'll work out. Charlie! Come on out! Go away, Daisy. No! Come on, come on! Come on, Charlie! Open up! I told you I'm not humoring this little vampire game anymore. Come on, Charlie! Let's just talk about this! Open up! Daisy, leave me alone. Let's just talk about this, okay? I'm not in the mood. I feel like crap. Hey! Do you know how hard I have been trying to take care of you? Do you know I watched you sit there dead for three days? Now sit down, shut up, and let me make you better. I didn't ask you to take care of me. We're best friends, Charlie. We were supposed to take care of each other. We need each other, okay? But I don't need you all the time. I can take care of myself. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me, to us? To what? Okay, Daisy, what's going on with you? I heard you shouting at Rich. Th that's completely not like you at all. Uh, you're the one who turned into an actual vampire, Charlie. No, no I haven't. I'm exactly, exactly the same as I was before. You, you on, on the other hand, hand are acting totally psycho. Oh, I'm only acting totally psycho because my best friend is trying to leave me just like everybody else! What? No, I'm not! Then why did you join Ellen Ness behind my back? I, what? Did Terry tell you? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you telling me you read my mind with that stupid phone? It's not a stupid phone. It works. You know, if that wasn't BS, that'd be a complete breach of privacy. But based on how you're acting right now, that doesn't seem too out of character. <sighs> Besides, I'm not abandoning you. I'm branching out and meeting new people, all right? Branching out is fine. But you kept it a secret from me! See, this, this is, is exactly, exactly why I didn't want to tell you. Oh my god, Charlie, you should have told me! I'm only freaking out because you didn't tell me! Okay, you know what? I'm done. Out, out of, of my, my room. room! No! God, you need to drink blood. Because if you don't, you will actually die. Okay? And literally die, and I don't want you to die! Okay? You are a vampire now. You're going to drink blood! Because vampires are not real, I'm not doing that! Oh really, if you're not a vampire? Then why are you so focused on my blood, huh? Huh? Why are you so focused on that? How are you doing that? that? That's not important right now, just listen. Daisy, I, I don't think I should be talking to you after what I did. Just call it with your pity party, okay? We just, I need your help. Rich, you have returned, again. Lola, I am so sorry for the way I acted. It is all right, Rich, I understand. Thank you. Where's Molly? Rich. Molly, I'm so sorry for how I acted. When Daisy and Charlie left, something in my brain just kind of snapped. And then I started, you know, partying throughout the space-time continuum. But I never should have left. No, you really shouldn't have. And I know you can't travel through space. You don't have to try and flex. But you are a part of this show, Rich, so you are welcome back on. Well, Ted... Thank you. 
of course, but not as executive producer. Rich, you abandoned us. When we needed you the most, you were not here. And you left me to try and piece together this broken situation that you had made. And it was messy. I'm not saying I did a really good job, but at least I was here. So we're switching. That's fair. I just want you to know how sorry I am. Oh, I know. And my first decision as executive producer is resigning. Wait, what? Yeah, like I said, I didn't do a really good job. And I don't really want to go to those producers meetings anyway. Lola, if you would like the job, it is yours for the taking. I see. I humbly accept this new power. Great. Well then, Rich, we should probably head back to the studio. We have some new members you might want to meet. This is Rich. Rich, this is Wyatt and Zeke. Oh, hey, guys. Uh... Rich! Rich, you're back! And... <laughs> you smell normal. Hey, hey, Wiley. Um, yep, yeah, thanks very much. Uh... Uh, well, I'm glad you're back. Hey, uh, have you heard anything from Nick recently? Nikolai? Nikki boy? In dog? Nope. I haven't heard a single thing from him. Hey guys, can we just have a crew meeting real quick? Sure. Great, great. Let's get moving then. Let's just go. Uh, you go ahead, fam squad. Uh, me and my associate need to have a meeting. We do? Yes, we do. Alright, great. Cool, yes. Uh, you guys just uh, stay there. Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. You're awake. Drink this. Ew! Are you feeding me blood? That's gross! That's disgusting! That's... That's... Hmm, it's actually pretty good. I'm actually a vampire, aren't I? Yeah. And you are too. Mm-hmm. And everyone else in the crew really are cryptids, and I've just been an idiot this whole time, haven't I? Uh-huh. How'd you even get in here? Daisy invited me in. That's something you're going to have to get used to from now on, by the way. Charlie, I almost didn't come here. I felt like I would just make things worse, but... Daisy told me that if I wanted to make up for what I did, then I had to come and help you. And she was right. I'm sorry, Charlie. I never wanted to make another one of me. Oh my god, stop. You could do a triple axel with all that edge. Look, logically, I should be mad. I mean, I am mad. But I just tried to kill Daisy. So... I think I might know where you're actually coming from. So really, Nick, it's okay. I, I think I can figure this out. And you can help me. Okay. Thanks. I will. Hey, uh, speaking of Daisy, where is she? Hi. Hi. I'm gonna let you two talk it out. I have to go call Wiley. Hey Daisy, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for everything, especially LNS. It's just that college is hard, you know, and I, I thought my best friend would be there beside me through it all. I mean, yeah, I can be there for you, but I can't always be there all the time. You know that, right? You can answer that. We can talk about this later. Rich? Daisy, come to the HSM quick! And bring the phantom phone! The last time you told me to do that, 
You lied. And my best friend died. I mean, she got better. Rich. Daisy, we need you. Molly? Wait, is that Daisy? Daisy, hey, thank you so much for helping Nick. Yeah, no, no problem, Wiley. Daisy, please come back. I don't think I should. Look, do you have the phantom phone with you now? Yeah. Okay. I want you to use it on me. Use it on all of us so you know that I'm telling you the truth when I say that I care about you. That we all care about you. We won't let anything bad happen to you again. Come on, Daisy. We don't need that. Let's give the weirdos one more shot. So, what was it you needed to talk to me about? Oh, we're done. <laughs> I wasn't aware that we were ever a thing. With the mission, Z, these things are clearly meta beings masquerading as humans. We need to neutralize them and bring them in. Go get the vacuum. Wait, wait, we can't call them in. That wily guy seemed really human. Then explain his reaction to the silver powder. Well, he might just be allergic to silver. That's a thing. Probably. Hmm. And the Orgolugs? She might just have a metal plate in her spine. That's not uncommon. See, were you affected by Lightning Sharp's sob story? Well, in training, we were taught that these monsters... Meta beings. Whatever. That we were taught that they don't feel actual emotion. They only mimic it. But that Wily guy? That seemed pretty real. Hmm. I just don't think the Bureau wants us wasting their time when we haven't even completed our mission yet. What do you mean? Well, we haven't met everyone from the show or found the phone yet. If we call this in early, we might lose our chance at finding the object of interest. Well, well, that's true. I just don't think that... I just don't think the director would be happy with either of us if we left without finishing the job. Fine. We reconfirm their identities, meet the other members, locate the phone. Then we report to the Bureau so we can begin capture protocol. You're making the right decision, Why? You don't want to end up in an old stuffy office somewhere? Or in, uh, Canada? Canada is euphemism, Z. It means the director would have us killed. Oh, oof. Brochure definitely didn't mention that. Look, don't get too attached to these freaks. We're here for a mission, not for goofy fun times with the Monster Squad. Uh, right, don't get attached, got it. Hey, uh, do you think any of them might be onto us? Those idiots? Not a chance. I knew it! I totally called that! Well, not that exactly, but I knew someone was onto us. Jeez. Nick, Nick you look so much better. Uh, have you been drinking the blood that I got you? Uh, hey, hey, uh, did, did you get any of my messages? Wiley, I'm sorry. Huh? What, what for? Cutting out was wrong. What I did was no way to treat my best friend. Oh, Nick. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, please stop. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah. Hey guys, beautiful moment over there, but can we focus up? Yeah. Rich, who were they talking about? Who are these guys? They're agents for the National Bureau of Normalcy. That's not a thing. Uh, sorry, sorry. Old habits die hard. So what do we do now? Run? Fight? Neither. We fool them. Kicking them off the show would be too suspicious. And besides, based on what I know about their protocols, the moment they know we're onto them, we're dead. Rich. Does this have anything to do with the whole end of the world thing? Almost definitely. Wait, wait, wait. End of the world? It's a long story, and I'll explain it later. Hey, Rich. How do you know so much about these bureau guys? Well, that's the tough part. Rich? Rich, what, what are you talking about? Rich, please explain to us. I know so much about them because I'm one of them.